Hello guys, in this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating a macOS bootable USB drive on a Windows computer. This method is new and work perfect for creating a bootable USB of any macOS version, whether it's an older macOS release or the latest one, all from a Windows computer. To get started, you will need just three essential things, a USB drive, minimum 32GB, HFS Plus tool, and Transmac software for installation. Now, let's begin by preparing the USB drive. First insert your USB drive into your computer, then open your browser and download the necessary software for this process. We will download and install HSF Plus software for Windows. and then Transmac application for Windows. Once both applications have been downloaded, go to the download directory and let's proceed with the installation on your Windows PC to continue with the process. Now you must restart your computer so it can configure the changes. After restart, now install the Transmac application. After successfully installing both applications on your system, launch the HFS Plus software first. Now click on the three dot menu and select Format New Volume. Next, click on the drop down menu where you'll see your system storage drive labeled as Drive Zero Volume, while Drive One Volume represents your USB drive. Be sure to carefully select your USB drive. Before formatting, I forget one thing. Open Command Prompt as Administrator then run the following commands step by step. Next type list disk and press enter. This will display all the available disks on your computer. In my case, there are two disks. Disk zero is my internal SSD drive. Disk one is my USB drive. Now select the USB drive, type this command and press enter. This ensures that disk one is selected. Now to wipe the USB drive, type clean. Next, convert the USB drive to the GPT partition scheme by typing this command. If you get error, then first convert to MBR, then convert into GPT format. After it converted to GPT, then create partition primary. Now our USB drive successfully converted into GPT partition scheme. Once this is done, simply close the command line and go to the HFS Plus software again then format new volume option, select USB drive partition. In my case, it is drive one volume. In volume label, you can assign a name to your USB drive. Once you've entered the name, click the format button. This will format the USB drive in Mac OS extended format. Now that our USB drive is ready, we can move on to the next step, Open your browser and download the macOS disk image file from archive website. I will provide this website link in my video description. Scroll down to the download options and select the Mac OS X disk image option. Ensure that you download the DMG file instead of an ISO file. Here, you'll find a variety of disk images for different macOS versions, including Ventura, Sonoma, Monterey, and Big Sur. Choose and download the disk image that best suits your needs. Make sure to download a DMG file that is compatible with your Mac model. I'll be downloading the Bigsa disk image file. Now, let's move on to creating a macOS bootable USB. Run Transmac application. While this is a paid software, it offers a 15 day free trial, which is more than enough for this process. Right click on your USB drive and select restore with disk image. Click yes when prompted. 
choose the macOS DMG file you downloaded. The software will now begin creating a bootable USB drive. This process may take some time, depending on the DMG file size. Now your bootable USB drive is now ready to use. I hope this video has helped you create a macOS bootable USB drive on your Windows PC and successfully install macOS on your Mac. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching, take care and see you in the next one.